at number 10. The Oregon Ducks, they'll play Utah. They got, they got boat raced by the Utes, Joey, the last time they played the regular season. They'll play Friday night for the Pac-12 championship. Yeah, and Oregon, they bounced back pretty nicely against Oregon State because they were physically beaten up by Utah. So I wanted to see how they bounced back. They looked really good against Oregon State. I expect it to be a much better game this time around against Utah. At number nine, Ducks up one spot to get into 10. And Baylor slips a spot, struggled a little bit in their finale against Texas Tech. They're still a 10-win season. They were playing with their backup quarterback, David. 10-win season, amazing turnaround for Dave Aranda. That's why he was linked to every job in America. Are they still in it a little bit if chaos ensue? Baylor hanging there at nine. Obviously, they're going to play Oklahoma State, who's going to, we know is going to be in the top six. So maybe the Bears still in this thing. I, I, I think they are. I'm a little surprised to see them slip a spot. So it does give me pause about what would happen uh, if the right set of circumstances came together and the Bears were able to beat Oklahoma State in the Big 12 championship game. Ranked one spot ahead of Dave Aranda's team at number eight. Hotty toddy. Ole Miss finish off with a win in the Egg Bowl. Lane Kiffin with a 10-win season, Herbie. I mean, that's incredible. Incredible to see that Ole Miss brand up there with 10 wins. Lane Kiffin uh, and his team with that offense. Matt Corral, the season that he had. How, uh, how nice to see them up in the top eight Finish 10 and 2, going to a New Year's Six bowl game. You would think uh, just a, a historic year, and who knows what uh, what Ole Miss has in front of them. There's been so many rumors about Lane Kiffin leaving. It seems like he's he's staying for now, and uh, he's got to be very proud of the effort here, being in the top eight. Yeah, that, that coaching carousel thing. You always have to offer the caveat for now, but Ole Miss is <laughs> definitely going to be right. in a New right. Year's Six game. Yeah. Uh, for sure, once those uh, at least till the show's over. Yeah, yeah, he's still the head coach at Ole Miss as we speak. We had number seven. Yeah. <laughs> Ohio State down five spots after losing at Michigan, Joey, on Saturday. Yeah, and I think it gets interesting right around here, Reese, and, and we've all talked about what if chaos happens? What if a Michigan loses, Bama loses, Cincinnati loses, Oklahoma State loses? All of a sudden. Number seven isn't completely out of this thing. They're right there on the verge of having a chance. If chaos does happen, I would imagine this is the final place where teams could get a chance to jump into that top four. So, so you don't you don't think Baylor could jump in if they win the Big 12 championship over Ohio State that's not playing? The fact that Baylor just slipped a spot, it, that surprises me mm -hmm. uh, after winning a game. Yeah. Could they? Yes. This is that area, though, and, and, I, and I think that we've all talked about what happens if chaos happens ahead of us because it is, it is not uh, out of the realm of possibilities that these teams who are uh, above seven could lose, except Notre Dame, of course, could lose, and then it gets real interesting. It's gonna be, there's going to be a high-level bowl game for the Buckeyes. Kirk, what's your reaction to what you've seen up to this point as we're about to unveil the top six? I'm with you guys. I, you know, I, I look at the games ahead starting Friday night with the Pac-12 championship. And, you know, if they don't, you know, it's going to be very hard for those two teams to get up into there. But they're playing for the Rose Bowl. But from that point on, um, I, I keep thinking like you guys. What if there is chaos? You know, what, what if there is upsets? What, what if Baylor looks really good or Oklahoma State looks really good? What if Cincinnati goes down to Houston? What if Michigan were to lose to Iowa? You know, we're not talking about 20-point point, point spreads here. I mean, it, these are things that very easily could happen and often do happen uh, with the pressure that's on, David, on championship Saturdays. So if that happens, I'm talking about Georgia being there and what would be left, I, 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 I don't I don't know. I mean, would it be Notre Dame? <laughs> I mean, you're not going to move. I, no, really, I mean, I'm just asking. No, listen, if, if Georgia beats Alabama and Michigan loses to Iowa and Cincinnati loses to Houston and the Big 12 champ's going to have to climb up mm -hmm. and get in there, I would think. Yep. But, I mean, they're, they're, those things very easily could happen. I've, I've never heard you speechless very often. You just gave me the, I, 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 I just, and we don't. I, I, don't, I don't think we would know. But, you know, one thing about Ohio State sitting there, you know, Baylor has work they can do. 
um, to maybe jump up. Oklahoma State already above them, obviously, with a chance to play Baylor. So those two, I think, you know, kind of in a good spot. Michigan, if they lose to Iowa, um, Iowa's not going to blow anybody out. So if they lost to them, it was a close game. Michigan's still fresh off of beating Ohio State. But what did we just see? We just saw the committee go, we will absolutely put somebody in front, with, even if it's head-to-head. And it was a week later. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, uh, what's going to come next if, if we get some chaos this weekend. All right, let's look at the top you, six. You still, got, you still got Michigan State above Michigan? Because, you know, they, they won head to <laughs> head. I still, I still, we all hey. still have Stanford ahead of Oregon, despite the fact they didn't win again. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.